Okay, so let's begin by writing the formula. You can easily identify this rising setting question because uh, in the question it will be mentioned that uh, azimuth of the rising sun or setting sun or rising moon or the setting moon. So now you know that you have to use this formula that is cos rising setting azimuth is equal to sine declination upon cos lat. So what you need to solve this numerical is sine dec. So declination you need and latitude will be given in the question. So from Almanac, from that given date in the question, you will find the prox LMT for moon rise, moon set, moon, uh, sunrise, sunset, whatever is mentioned in the question. You will write that timings, for example, something hours, something minutes. Now you will note down the longitude and divide it by 15 to get into LIT. So longitude divided by 15 will give you LIT and you will write that also. If your longitude is east, then you will uh, subtract. If it is west, then you will add. Uh, for uh, easy purpose, you can easily look at this formula that LMT is equal to GMT plus longitude east and LMT is equal to GMT minus longitude west. So accordingly, you can act. In this question, you need to find GMT from LMT. So obviously, if longitude is east, you have to subtract. Okay. On the basis of that GMT, you will go to the almanac on the given date, time, and you will find the declination. You will also find the decorrection and you will find the final declination. So one thing you have already have declination. Now you need to put all the values in the formula that is cos rising setting azimuth is equal to sine dec upon cos lat. You will solve it and you will get in some quadrantal angle. For example, north 20 degree east or west, south 40 degree east or west. So this prefix north or south comes from declination. Remember declination you have already found out in the earlier step. So in the almanac, you will be provided with the direction of the uh, declination also. So same direction you have to add as prefix. And uh, if it is rising question, then you will write in the suffix east. And if it is a setting question, you will write in the uh, suffix west. Okay. So now you have a quadrantal angle for azimuth. You will convert this quadrantal angle into true angle, which I have already taught in the previous video. Okay. Now you have come to the true uh, angle of the azimuth. Okay. Now we are very close to solve this numerical. You have already calculated two azimuth. Uh, so we'll write. For example, your calculated true azimuth that you have converted from quadrantal angle to true angle is 298.8 degrees true. And the azimuth which is given in the, the compass azimuth will be provided in the question. For example, in the question it is given 287 degree compass. So we can find out here that compass is low. If the compass is low, you will find the difference obviously if that is 11.8 degrees. And this east come from the formula compass least error east, compass best error west. So your compass is lesser than the calculated azimuth. So you will write the direction of the error is east. You will be provided with the variation in the question that is 13 degree east for example and you will find the deviation this this also uh, people make mistake while calculating the deviation so there is nothing to do you are provided with the compass uh, error which is 11.8 degree east so you can make a line like this and you will write 11 degree east because this is east and this is west correct and you have been provided with the variation that is 13 degree east so easily calculation or cross checking your answer that whether you have found the deviation answer correct or not you need to reach this how you'll reach this 11.8 from 13 degree east you will move towards west how much you will move 1.2 degree will move west to achieve this 11.8 degree east so deviation is 1.2 degree and where we are moving we are moving the west so deviation 1.2 degree west so this is the basic question which comes in the examination for 15 marks or something in the celestial navigation sometimes in they also ask the moon rising setting azimuth question so all the process is almost same like of sun but uh, in moon you have to do this longitude correction method so rest of the process is same you will write the lmt but after lmt you will not directly come to this lit and uh, get gmt you will have to find this step also this longitude correction and for longitude correction there is a formula longitude correction is equal to longitude into daily difference upon 360 and what is the daily difference if your question in the question your longitude is east for moon so you will write the LMT, approximate LMT from the almanac, and you will find the LMT moon rise, moon set something one day earlier. Why? Because your longitude is east. If, if in the question longitude is, longitude is west, then uh, you will write this uh, longitude uh, LMT, and one day after, what was the moon set or moon rise? So east agar hai, to aap ek din pehle ka dekhenge, moon, moon set, moon rise, and west agar hai, to aap ek din baad ka dekhenge. So, dono ki beech ka difference, you will calculate the difference between moon rise, moon set, time, for example, it is coming 48 minutes of something. You will write the daily difference. This is the daily difference. Ki ek din pehle kya tha aur aaj ke din kya hai. So this is the daily difference. And again, you will uh, come to the formula. Longitude correction is equal to longitude into daily difference upon 360. This is the longitude correction. Now, again, going back to the same process. LMT, moon rise, moon set, then longitude correction. You have already found out. Remember, this daily difference you have to write in minutes. Okay. Then LIT, then LMT, then GMT. Okay. So you will find this GMT. The rest of the process remains same. On the basis of this GMT, you will find the declination, decorrection, and you will write the formula sine uh, cost rising setting azimuth is equal to sine dec upon cost lat. And the rest of the process remains same as of the sun. Thank you very much for listening.